I'm Paul Huizinga, this is the 2015 PRI show, and I'm in the ARP booth with a man who probably won't need an introduction to anybody who's a fan of engine building technology, Ken Duttweiler. Now, Ken, I imagine that you've probably used an ARP fastener or two in the time that you've been building engines. Most likely, for several years, successfully. Now, how, how long have you been associated with ARP and their, and their uh, products? Boy, that takes me back uh, probably the 80s. So now, how important is a quality fastener to an engine build? I mean, factory fasteners have come a long way. There's a lot more technology built into the sort of stuff that's available over the counter, and yet ARP is still the choice of a lot of engine builders. It would probably have to be the choice of everybody because the OE fasteners are something akin to all thread. I mean, we, we jokingly refer to it as all thread, and, uh, and it essentially does its job very well because for a, a one-time install, it, it's, it's good. Uh, the stuff that we do and the money we spend on these engines, it, it, just take a connecting rod for example, sixteen, eighteen hundred dollars for a quality rod, and the only thing that holds the cap to the rod is the bolt. So guess what's going to break if you if you don't use the right parts? And the ARP stuff, in all the years I've used them, I have never seen a fastener fail, personally. I've seen people accuse things of being the problem when it wasn't really what broke the connecting rod, it was a bearing that spun inside the cap and blew the cap off of it. But you know, uh, if, you, if you look at the quality and, and the R&D and everything that they do, and they've even allowed me to do some testing in my own with some of their equipment and finding interesting things like if you use a, a, a head nut over and over and over again, the clamp load just goes to nothing. I mean, I was astonished. I mean, I, I'm looking at the numbers I'm pulling with a, with a brand new nut. I put a used nut on there, torque it to the same number, and I've got 30 to 40 percent less clamp load. So all of a sudden you think, well, I've got that head torqued to 100 pounds. No, you don't. You have it torqued to about 65 or 70. So uh, being associated with them has been great. And uh, they uh, they do a lot of custom stuff for us too. You know, you, you pay for it and you wait, but, but you get what you want in the end. And the various alloys that they have, uh, like I have a customer that thought he probably needed a, a custom made stud, but he really needed an ARP 2000. So we went through the archives and found some ARP 2000 to fit that application. Well, that to me, that is really important because it's not, and, and I guess I need to preface that with the fact that they're next door. <laughs> so, you know, it, it makes it really easy to go in every day and pick up parts and stuff. I mean, uh, sometimes I, I wonder how the poor guys that are you know, 2,000 miles away can complete stuff on time when we're down there picking up studs or bolts as a last minute sourcing item. So it, but it's been a very good relationship and a, a very successful component. Well, there you go. The man who knows, you really can't overstate the important quality fasteners in an engine build. I'm Paul Huizinga. This is the 2015 PRI show. Keep it right here on Power Auto Media. We got a whole lot more coming at you.